Hello. Today we will be troubleshooting why Snap Center Server cannot discover the Oracle plugin after being installed on the Linux server. The first step in troubleshooting will be the communications between the Snap Center server and the Linux server. To do this troubleshooting, we will need to go to the Snap Center server, open a web browser, and go to the URL HTTPS, the IP address of the Linux server or DNS name, colon 8145, slash configure service, slash reload configs. If you see the message reloading successfully, that means you have good communications between the Linux server and the Snap Center server. If this message should happen to not come up, you will want to check your firewall to see if port 8145 on the Linux server and port 8146 on the Snap Center server have bidirectional communications. Now, since this message came up as successful, the next thing we will want to check is on our Linux server if the configuration file has all the correct settings. To do so, we will cd to slash var opt snap center spl etc. We will look at the file spl.properties. Here, we will want to confirm that SPL enable plugins equals SCO, comma SCO. We will want to confirm that the SPL port is 8145. Confirm that the Snap Center server host has the IP address of your Snap Center server or the DNS, DNS name for your Snap Center server. We will also want to confirm that the Snap Center server port is set for 8146. Once all these are confirmed or any changes that need to be made are made, we will next want to restart the service. To restart the service, we will execute slash opt netapp snap center SPL bin SPL restart. This command will stop and start the Snap Center plugin loader, reread the uh, config file that we had just modified, and set all the processes for listings so that there can be proper communications between the Snap Center server and the plugin. Okay. Now with this successful start, all communication should be good. Thank you and have a good day.